This is Ian Lamont, founder of Lean Media Consulting. I've been selling on Amazon for more than 20 years, eight years as an FBA seller with my own brands. Today, the workflow for inbound FBA shipments with the new inbound placement fee. If the video helps, please take a moment to like it and subscribe and let's get started. So I'm about to send some stuff into Amazon. This is for Amazon FBA. This is one of one of the items that I sell uh, quite a bit of. And you can see that they're asking for 127 units of this particular item. One thing that's worth mentioning for the new inbound placement service fee, if you send in more than one box, it's actually, the fee uh, d declines a little bit. I'm gonna show you what that looks like in practice. This is the chart that Amazon has on its website. I urge you to take a look at it. It basically breaks down what the what the placement service fees are for, for instance, standard size products. And you can see for the single, single s sending to a single location, it's more expensive. 21 cents to 30 cents per unit compared to sending it to multiple to multiple locations, which is uh, 12 cents to 21 cents. So let's uh, let's take a look and see what happens when we actually operate this in in, uh, in practice. So I'm using shipping templates. I recommend that you do that because Amazon, if you have a, a shipping template like this is uh, 50 units, Amazon will not break up that box. They won't tell you, oh yeah, just do uh, two boxes with 25 units each. No. Uh, my supplier, they package in, in boxes of 50, so that's what I'm going to be using. And if you're using a pallet or something like that, you can set up your uh, template that way as well. So I already did that a long time ago. They're asking for 127, and this 50 units per box. So I'm going to send in three boxes. They'll let me do that. Ready to send. Okay, and then I just click uh, Confirm and Continue. And... It's going to take a while because they're crunching through their algorithm or their fee calculation and this and that. Uh, the other thing you have to do is select the date and then you have to confirm that you're going to be using the carrier. So you can see that they're so they're breaking it up. Uh, if it's two shipments, the fee will be twenty four dollars. If it's one shipment, it's thirty one fifty. Uh, basically, that that's actually that's actually a significant difference. I've seen some other sellers, however. They're, because they're sending bigger bulky items or it's going a long way, like the fees are really extremely much higher than this. Like this is just for, for three boxes. So it's basically $10, oh no, it's not $10, $8 per box. For some for some sellers in other markets I've seen, it's a lot more than that. Like there was this, um, this seller in Ireland, they're being charged $2.30 per unit, which you can imagine that's gonna really cause issues for, the, for their business. So anyways, I'm gonna be sending it in today uh, I'm going to select the two shipments because I want to pay lower fees, and it doesn't matter to my seller. I'm just going to be sending them two separate sets of uh, shipping labels, smart part, small parcel delivery, and then this is the this is the UPS charge basically twenty seven eighteen, and then they it's showing me where it's going. So one of them is going to ABE eight, and the other one is going to uh, AVP one. So that's okay. I'm going to accept the charges and confirm shipping. One thing I want to point out: it says fifty one eighteen. As of this this week, that's that's what the new charge is. It's basically double what I was paying before. Because you can see before I was paying shipping fees. The shipping fees haven't changed. Twenty seven eighteen. What's changed is now I'm being charged uh, this inbound placement fee, and it's basically doubling my cost to send something in. So I'm going to accept charge and confirm shipping. Not happy not happy about it, but there's really nothing you can do. The only thing that you can change is if you want to send it to one location or or more than one location, and other than that, that's it. So I chose the cheapest option, which is more than one location, and I'm just going to have to eat the charge. Okay, so here are my two shipments. I can print out the labels right now. One thing I always recommend doing is renaming your shipment so you can basically identify what it is later on if you're looking at your shipping queue. 